two days, about 10 cars got delivered, three amazing limos, two Koenig specials, C140s, all types of stuff. There's still more cars at the port. We have to come over here and move the warehouse around, make more room for other cars coming. Never ending process, guys. But the other thing, we're not car guys. So it's like, we just did it how we did it. And... But also, also people, exactly, people look at us like, wow, nobody had the psychotic mind to do this, so they, they tip their hat to us. Now we gotta clean it up. Oh, thing, tip, tip, tip. Just another regular day, three special Benz is arriving. I gotta see what they really are. I'm not really sure, to be honest. So many cars at the port, so many cars coming in all at once. So stay tuned as we discover together what we got right here. What do we got here? I mean, we got a Brabus E36. We got a W210, which I'm not sure what it is because I bought so many cars. And then we got another E-Class, which I'm not sure what it is either because I bought so many fucking cars. I try to take care of you guys as much as I can, you know? That's amazing, I like this. Minor stuff. Yeah, yeah. You know, but they are pretty good. Good. The only thing you have to jump it. Okay. I even know what that is. It's all special. Dude. Yeah, that's pretty I'm nice. I'm opening man. a museum. Oh, really? Only rare Benzes. Oh, wow. Nobody's ever done it. All, only old rare Benzes. Brabus, Koenig. Wow. When you're done, we'll go in here. You'll see cars you never saw in your life again. Oh, wow. Glad to meet you, man. Sick. Very good clutch. So that's the 800 horsepower W210 right there. Can't push it too hard because you'll blow the motor because the motor was not designed for anything near that. And then, you know, another turbocharged low tech. Whoa. 800 horsepower because of that. Scary it's like looking. almost rubbing into it. The the belt is rubbing on the fan. Yeah, I see that. Lewis, look. You hit the gas in this thing, and this belt is just gonna run right into the fan and turn itself. You're gonna have to find a turbo or a supercharged. It's a, it's, it's, it's a supercharged. Is supercharged. So it's like almost gonna die? Yeah. Fix the hot start, then I'll charge the battery. Yeah. Go from there. Yeah. Please, thank you. I like I love driving it. I drove it last night. I, I keep putting the kick down and trying to get it yeah. cleared out, but that's I, I feel like try. it's worth doing a uh, more of a tune-up just because they need more power. You know? It needs the whole thing. I don't know. But they all do. They all do. <laughs> they all do. <laughs> Finally got my ASAP Rocky Mercedes Benz AUG collab, which took like, I don't know, three, four months to come in. So I'm gonna check it out now. First clothing collab with Mercedes and a wrapper at this magnitude, I believe. So shout out to ASAP Rocky for making it happen. First off, we got the hat that they destroyed in the box, sick. Here it is. <laughs> they really did not care about this hat. They've uh, ruined it before I could even wear it. <laughs> oh, so I have more actually coming. Yeah. yeah, because I bought the white set of this. I we got the sweatpants that you will never wear in uh, Florida. So this was going to be the pajamas. Take this float. Yeah. Oh shirt. no, man. <laughs> You'll never lose really that. That's pretty dope. It looks good. It's Hmm. Colors are cool. What? Material's cool. So like I said, shout out to ASAP Rocky. We're doing the Mercedes collab with the old school Benzes and shit. Good job. Good job. Doing over here. Oh, wow. Yeah. 
and these things were disgusting. So you see how this is all rubbery and nice and new. <laughs> you don't even compare. No, I do You got the good new uh, gaskets on. You just wait on that neutral safety switch for the car. You can tell it just wants to go. If I wasn't so concerned about the belt slipping, I'd give it some power. I forgot to show you guys. Oh, shit. This is the bottle. You riding in the motherfucking death trap. This thing is dumb Yo, bro, this shit. shit. One wrong, one heavy. <laughs> <laughs> one, one heavy. These are very fast materials, this shit. You let off the gas and still kind of wanted to keep going, but otherwise, it was fantastic. Yeah, it drove well? Yeah, really well. That's the thing, Brad. You gotta be the guy, like, the first thing on your mind, when you're there, when the guards get delivered, what are you doing, really? You're not really doing anything other than, like, booster packs. That's not what I need you for. I need you to, as soon as the car comes off the fucking trailer, you check all the oils. All of them, like the transmission oil, the engine oil, all the fluids, the coolant, make sure everything's right. Just visually, off the top. That just should always be in your mind. It should annoy you. Not knowing what's happening in the engine. Yeah. All right, guys, today's a crazy day. We're getting a big package from the Middle East. It's about three limos, a few coupes, a few sedans, all special stuff, all stuff never been seen before on these streets. So stay tuned. The Patina Collective, once again, the biggest. Yo, what's up, folks? Uh, hey, I'm up here, man. Uh, I just got up here a few minutes ago. You got a, a blue, a limo. blue limo. Black limo, a red Koenig, a red Koenig special SEC, a white S class. But yo, there's not, there's more than five cars there though, because I already had two cars, and then those other five came. That's seven, and then there's another three, I think. There should be like ten cars there, bro. Oh shit, that one's not starting. <laughs> nah. No. Yeah, yeah, this one's not starting. Fuck. Okay, I gotta send my guy. I paid a lot of money for that car. I gotta send my guys over there. Send me all the pics of the cars are saying in mine and then just load up whatever you can and bring it over, all right? Okay. Thanks, bro. There's like no room for any of these, bro. Uh-uh. Hi, Natasha speaking. Hi, Natasha. This is Victor. How are you? Um, I'm going to give you all the VIN numbers and let me know what cars are with you and what cars are, aren't with you. I'm going to send you an email in like two minutes, okay? Okay, sounds good. Thank you. Bye. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Yeah, yeah. I'm about 20 minutes. 20 minutes. I'll see you there. Peace. It's gonna rain. What you think? This is beautiful. You seen the inside yet? Yeah. It still yeah, smells good and everything. Yo, it's like new leather. Yeah, touch that up. It happens, bro. That's the pain of moving these cars around the world. It's not a joke. Super rare limo guys, straight from the Middle East, straight from Abu Dhabi, man. Shout out to my brother out there that hooks me up. Check this out. You gotta be the other way. You gotta go in the back. <laughs> My man's got the executive seat. Yes, sir. Uh, make a phone call real quick. What? The hey, chauffeur? What? I ain't playing with these boys. <laughs> yeah, I'm a chauffeur, yeah. Yeah, it's me. <laughs> Big boss. It's my driver right there. Talking all that shit, but we gonna get it right. <laughs> So you want the white one? The white one? And hey, can you fit another one behind there or not? Don't tell me white and blue. Two limos. If you want to bring them both today, I'll tell them, hey, just bring it out. And I'll go back there and get it. Do the white one for now. 600 SEC, aka CL600C140. 
tree from Japan though. It's a six up. Why is it left hand drive? Japan, a lot of Japanese cars are left hand drive. Oh yeah? Yeah, a lot. Well cleanly. I'm about to see all this gum come right out. Four more cars coming today. That's all the way down. Need your expertise for a minute. Come by, there's a, the back window on the C140 is off the track and it won't close. I need you to open up the back panel and try to get it on the track. Well, I'm gonna have to bring it over to the shop. Yes, yes, if you can, please. Drive that car with you. Yeah. You got the key for the phone? I just tried to put the window down and I felt the Pops. It's fun. Gonna blow up. Be careful. We got a special Koenig SEL straight from Abu Dhabi with a full custom done interior. Shout out to my guys over there, man. Going hard, hard. This is all custom, all custom, all custom. Look at this stuff, never seen before. Red piping, white leather, Italian leather, straight from the Middle East, Koenig special. You good? Oh, there it is. Oh, all right. This one got cracked, but I don't mind. That's for the driver, right? Yeah. Oh, Amazing, bro. Very, very special custom made limousine with gold trimming on the interior. Gold trimming, guys. Gold. Yo, look at, look at this bitch, bro. Yo, this is that real royal shit. Let me sit in my shit. <laughs> when you work really hard and you have tunnel vision and you're just fixated on the gold. Sometimes when you get to your goal, you just sit back and, and enjoy the fruits of your labor. This is what this is about. You know, this is, this is the fruits right here. Sometimes, you know, you gotta have gold in your interior to feel like the king you really are. So don't be scared to be a king. You only live once. Let's get this money. No word. Can't touch these interiors with dirty hands. Haram. Oh my, is that Come fair? <laughs> Bruh. Oh my god, you can't even sit in this bitch. Yo. <laughs> oh my god. That car, Lewis, is running like shit. I need you to go through it. I need to go through the car out of the car. And you know how that will be there. That's it. All the shit out of the gas tank. Yep. I just need you to know about that. And also, I need you to know, there's a W140 S70. It's at AFL. The guy went to tow it. He said when he went to drive it up, the transmission wasn't working. I don't know what he's saying. Send Brad, whatever, and figure out how we're going to get that car over and get it fixed. Okay. Thank you. And uh, there's a car you decided to leave out? A Maybach. <laughs> Uh, tough choices to make at the patina collective <laughs> and then we just in and out in and out i'd love for you to come by whenever you want dude that's just ridiculous <laughs> <It's fucking crazy. laughs> Waiting for a red Koenig Coupe SEC. Disgusting. Straight from the Middle East. This is 
clean. Told you, the second one, coupe. Now we got the sedan, back to back. Imagine that shit on the beach. Crazy. Comes with an intercom so you can talk to the people outside. It's hot, man. It's that Florida shit, but you know, we in that Florida heat and we're making it even hotter with these Kunik, man. Right here, SEC Kunik, all red, straight from Upper Dubby. With the all red paint, with the gold grill, the gold KS, man. The gold, man. You gotta have gold on your Kunik. The red Koenig uh, SEC secured. Now we're getting a bunch of cars out of the showroom and moving them to the big stadium. Oh, I'm taking the hammer down 95, seeing what it's talking about. My man Sergio going to 6.9 at 450 SEL. And we got Vico in the E320, killing it back to back. And of course, got the ride back, Cherry Red Blue Rag. And once I got on the highway, it just started, started going up. So I called Vic, I was like, yo, this is overheating. No coolant leaked out ever. I saw the car every step of the way from the showroom. Lewis claims that he checked the fluids on that car and he claims that um, some pipe blew up and that's when all the coolant came out. We moving all these back inside now? Yeah, I gotta move all these 140s back. And I'm just trying to put everything back in a way that we put everything in. Yeah, that makes sense. We're trying to get all the cars back in, in order right now before the rain comes. So, moving quick. What sucks is most of them need a jump, so it takes a lot longer. It's not just hopping in, turning the key. Rain is coming. Hopefully we are good. The last one. Two days, about 10 cars got delivered. Three amazing limos, two Koenig specials, C140s, all types of stuff. There's still more cars at the port. We have to come over here and move the warehouse around, make more room for other cars coming. So it's a never ending process, guys. You know, we take the we take the hit for you guys to enjoy it. So I've seen it collective, man. It's a long road and a long journey. But once we get to the top of the mountain, it's all worth it. Let's go.